Welcome back. Stasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And today I have a three quick reviews for y'all. Starting off with one from Finch Knives. This is the Devil's Finger. Uh, this knife comes in at $129. And I think it's a pretty attractive design. Um, I mean, at least, you know, I think so. I like the overall lines of the knife. I like how, you know, it, it, it flows on both sides very nicely. Um, I like the blade shape. You got a nice point right there for piercing task. And uh, the 154 CM blade still held up nicely and it sliced pretty well. It's not a very high flat grind, so it's not super thin behind the edge, but it does the job. Um, you, you have jumping up here that I call it medium traction. Um, it's, it's okay. The action on the knife is pretty darn snappy, but the closing on it is not the smoothest. Um, I don't know if it's because of the black traction in the detent track, having to wear into it. <clears throat> I'm sure it'll keep getting smoother the more I open and close it. <clears throat> um, the, the knife is, is like, I call it a medium sized knife. It's a 7.2 inch overall length knife with a 3.1 inch blade. That will restrict it for some people who follow those laws closely and have a three and under blade laws. So that's that's kind of a shame there. Um, flipper tab. I don't want to say it's it's you know pointy, but because it is rounded over on the top right there. But after uh, flipping it for a while, it can it can uh, be bothersome. But <laughs> I mean. I, it, if you do a good uh, light switch action on it, it's not so bad. Um, like I said, it does come out nice. <clears throat> the, the ergonomics were nice on the knife with all the cutting I did. Uh, you have contoured uh, canvas micarta scales that have a good traction feeling to them. And you can feel the actual material. I like that. It'll get darker over time with the oils in your hands and just dirt. <laughs> Uh, they have the nice crest logo that does glow in the dark. <clears throat> you have a two-way positional pocket clip. You have a wire pocket clip tip up or tip down left or right. The wire pocket clip works fine. You have pretty strong tension on it. Goes in and out of the pocket nicely. And you just have that much sticking out of the pocket. Only thing I don't like about the pocket clip is how it... it how it comes back down instead of just going straight up <clears throat> because that can limit some pants that you put it into because you know if that seam comes and just it's just going to hit it like that so i would have much rather them just cut those off and just have it that low it would have been just fine but it went in and out of the po in my pockets just fine because i don't have really thick pockets the knife came dead centered uh there's no play up or down, left or right. Very solid action. Like I said before, ergos were good. Saber grip. Every pretty much every grip that I that I've tried the knife in, it was comfortable. Um, the edge lasted for a good amount of time, and uh, I, overall, it's a quality knife. It came razor sharp, and I I have sharpened it up after I finished using it just to see how well it sharpened and it came back with a screaming edge. Yep, that is blood right there. It's it's not it's not like bleeding, it's it's glued up. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a second. Um the nitpicks complaints. Uh the edge termination on my particular knife was pretty wonky. You can see how high it went up. I just followed the original and then I came into the plunge because I, I sharpened a fixed angled system. Uh, also, like I said a second ago, the flipper tab can be bothersome after a while flipping it, but you know, just to do, you know, open up, use it, close it up, put it back, no problem whatsoever. But if you're a fidgeter, just something to note. Um, also, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the micarta. It kind of looks, it kind of looks cheap. This is the the Chinese version of the micarta. Y you don't see the grain pop out much, and then the 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 color is just over. It just kind of takes over. Um, 
other than that, what? Oh yeah, one more. There's one more thing that had me scratching my head, and this is something that I that I it's a big pet peeve of mine that I can't can't stand when somebody does it hinders a a, a big violator of this, and it is putting jimping behind the flipper tab. Why on this knife? Why would you do that unless you want to just rip up my finger every time I flip it? Now it's not terrible because it's not super sharp or anything. It is coated, uh, but once again, after flipping it for a while, you start to notice that it's there. Um, there's no functional purpose for it. I mean, I don't. It's you, if you're gonna hold the knife like this, you're you're overshooting this jimping. Definitely overshoot this. I mean, you're not gonna carry the knife like, I mean, I can use the knife like this, and any grip that I hold it, I don't feel that jimping at all, so definitely could have done away with that, and uh, I don't know, other than that, I think it's a good knife, if you like the overall aesthetics of the knife, it performs well, it's got a snappy action, and I think it, the overall aesthetics are nice, that is the Finch Knives Devil's Finger. Next up, we got one coming from Miguron Knives. It is the oop, the Vaso. Um, I had heard a lot of people talking about their knives, so I picked up three of their knives. And, whoop, and uh, this was the first one that I had come in. You had this nice uh, drop point blade with a satin finish on it that's pretty reflective there. Um, it's a nice narrow blade. And this is also a front flipper. It's got very, very smooth action. Uh, as you can see, I barely shake it. It's going to go down. The overall package is nice and narrow. Disappears in the pocket. That's what kind of drew me to the knife. I like how the blade buries into the handle scales. And it, the lure of the design is what drew me. Um, the blade steel also drew me to the knife because it's something I've never used before. It's called DC-53. And I read on my app, the steel app that I have, it says it's supposed to be twice as tough, uh, better wear resistant, and smaller uh, carbide size than D2. So that's very, very nice. And it's uh, similar to Sleipner Steel by Bowler Odehome. So uh, in a budget format, that's awesome. Um, the knife did hold an edge good. Um, I haven't used enough of this to kind of get a feel for it yet. Uh, it usually takes, you know, several knives before I kind of have a feel for how that steel is holding up and what what it can hold up against and what it can't. Uh, I like the toughness factor. Just if you wanted to use it as like a work knife or something. Not saying this is... <laughs> The best work knife as far as, you know, the build the build of it, it's more of like a general task uh, or gentleman's carry EDC knife in my opinion. Uh, it's got a beautiful crown spine. You don't see that on budget knives that, that, that often, especially one in the $41 price range. That's another thing that drew me to this knife. $41, I figured I would definitely give them a shot. Like I said, a lot of people have been talking a lot, a lot of good stuff about Migron, and uh, the over the overall first impressions when I got it is that there a lot of a lot of things look nice. They did some a nice finishing work in certain areas. Um, I liked that they they had a, a good sharpening choil that that cleared a plunge line. Uh, they also crowned this bottom section right here. Just very nicely done. Polished the pretty polish. It's not like a mirror mirror, but it's pretty darn close on the liners. Heavy skeletonization in there. Hopefully y'all can see that. Uh, the knife is super lightweight. Weighs 2.52 ounces. So definitely will forget this in the pocket. Um, <laughs> the micarta on here is once again the cheaper kind of micarta. It's not my favorite. Uh, but I wasn't sure being that I've never had any of theirs before. You got a black G10 backspacer. Uh, this is a front flipper. As you can see, you got some jimping up here. And there you go. Now, 
I have to say that the the front the front flipper for me does not work that great, and I think that is due to two reasons. One, the 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 actual front flipper is you know like flush with the top of this, so you don't have any leverage over the top of the knife to kind of bring it around, and this is rounded. And then on top of all that, this jimping right here is not grippy at in the least, at least on mine. It's pretty slick and I slip off of it pretty often. But when I do get it, it does come out pretty nicely. Um, that action, whew, that action's nice. Uh, it just has a very fluid feeling to it. I know y'all can't feel that, but it's just very, very glassy smooth on the clothes. You don't feel any resistance whatsoever. <laughs> um, ergonomics. The ergonomics on all the cutting I did was pretty good, but uh, along with that slender package, you also had that slender handle. They did add some extra thickness in here. They left it. They left the middle of this full thickness, and then just put the deep chamfers around the sides, so it's not sharp on the sides at all. It was comfortable in cardboard cutting. Uh, when I did the rope cutting, it was a little difficult. Not so much ergonomics. We'll talk about that in just a second. Um, but in the wood, in the wood cutting, it felt like the knife was spinning in my hand. So if you could be doing a, like you know where you're bearing down into bearing down when you're cutting, this might not be the best option because you will be fatigued or cramped pretty quick. Um, I like I like how that blade that blade bearing in there looks really nice to me. It just disappears. You get a titanium uh, sculpted pocket clip that works fine. It is a little tight, but uh, it it goes in and out. You got a little bit of a ramp here, so if you have thicker pants, it may be harder to get that into your pocket. Uh, the knife came perfectly centered and has stayed like that through the cutting that I've done so far with the knife. Uh, <laughs> the blade, I didn't say that, but the blade is 3.5 inches with an overall length of 7.45 inches. So it's in a, it's in that medium to large range. It just doesn't look as large because of the slender build on it. So my nitpicks and complaints, oh, I, I hate, I hate even doing this cause it's, it's, it's quite a few. First off, like I said, just a second ago, uh, that front flipper is very difficult for me to um, to use every single time. Uh, I slide off of it a lot, or I just I just can't get enough uh, traction to pull it back, and just not the best design in my opinion. But you know you could you could think different. Um, all right, next up, uh, the knife came to me pretty darn dull. Um, it barely had a working edge on it and I put my goniometer on it to see what I need to sharpen it at so I could test it and first off behind the edge thickness on my particular knife is 20 I think 27 thousandths behind the edge uh, comes down to a pretty thick edge especially toward the tip over here it's like 30 thousandths right here in the tip area it's, it's very thick right there uh, so I uh, measured the secondary bevel with my goniometer and one side was 30 degrees and the other side was like 26 degrees. So you have a WAP bevel to start with and I put it in my wicked edge and my wicked edge couldn't even go far enough back to be able to do this so I had to sharpen it on another device. Um, now I will say it sharpened up nicely, it was easy to sharpen. And it held an edge for a considerable amount of time, but it wasn't the best slicer by any means. And uh, I've, like I said, I bought three Miguron knives, and all three of the ones I bought, they're different places, different times. All three of them are barely uh, sharp in the least. So that was kind of a turnoff in the beginning because I know some people don't know how to sharpen or don't want to have to sharpen. Um, I said it a second ago, like I said, it's, it's hard to front flip for me. Um, and then also there's not much lock access because it is flush with the show side scale. All they have 
is that tiny little uh, indention right there. And then you have these polished scales. So this jimping right here is slick as can be, especially for my hands with no dexterity hardly. It's kind of hard for me to get my thumb in there to disengage that. So that this that all said, unfortunately, this is not a knife that I can recommend. Uh, hopefully, I just got a bad one or something like that, or a bad three. Uh, so y'all let me know what y'all think about this one, and off to the last one. Last up is coming from Kaiser, and it is an updated version of the Kaiser Feist. This one was brought to us by Mojave Outdoors. Uh, this is called the, the Deadpool Feist, or what they call it. This knife is, in my opinion, an exceptional of value. It came in at $100, and it has one of my favorite blade steels, CPM 3V, which is an extremely, extremely tough steel, which you're not going to see the full benefits in a smaller uh, knife let alone a smaller folder knife but besides that it, it, it has excellent wear resistance and it's it's a great overall steel uh, it is a tool steel so it's not a stainless but they have put this black coating on there and as you can see it, it's holding up pretty nicely uh, after look you can see the wear nothing has come through and I did all the normal stuff I do with all the knives with these knives uh, I did sharpen it up after I was done testing and it took a ridiculously sharp edge. Uh, 3V takes a screaming edge and it holds it for a good amount of time. Uh, the, the, cr the crown on this one, I mean the spine on this one is crowned as well. I absolutely love seeing that. You can see it right here how it's rounded. Love it. I love the feel of that. And to me, I think it just looks classy. Uh, the Feist is, is a medium to small knife. You have a blade length of 2.75 inches and an overall length of 6.5 inches. So if you have extra large hands, this knife might not be for you. Um, or, I mean, it might not be able to get all four fingers on it. I can, I can just get four fingers on it easily. You have... Nice, comfortable, well uh, done micarta. This is the American micarta. I love, love, love this. See how you can see the uh, weave along the side right there. Love it. This is red canvas micarta. Like I said, contoured. The edges are softened. It's comfortable even though it's like a broom, broomstick style handle. It, it was comfortable enough for the cutting I did. Um, I, I didn't put... A ton of pressure when I was doing cuts with this because it just it's not that just like I didn't do that with this knife as well um, it's, it's just not you know it's not good for that because it wants to spin around you do get good traction with this micarta it's not polished or anything they did leave uh, the furriness of the material the canvas kind of left it raised a little bit love that black hardware uh, black liners Easy access to that lock bar because they have a cutout right there. It's not hard whatsoever. The action on this thing is very nice. That's how a front flipper should flip. You can do the reach around on that one. You can do the, the knuckle, whoop, you can knuckle roll it. Just very, very easy. And this thing's got super, super smooth action. Love it. It's very addictive. <laughs> the snap on it and then the retraction. I can do that all day long. Uh, the, the blade is... It might be to the right a little bit, but I've been using testing and uh, it, it could have walked a little bit. It was perfectly centered when I got it. The stainless steel liners have been coated and they're inset into the micarta. You have this one barrel standoff in the back, which uh, does just fine. Uh, I like the overall uh, aesthetics. I love the little holes in there. I think that looks nice. So of the three knives, this is probably my favorite by far. Just I, I like the Feist already. Uh, this is my first time trying out the reverse Tonto version. I had the first one. I think it was a spear point or yeah, I think so. Either the spear point, drop point, whatever it was, whatever it was. I had that one. Never had picked up this one. So glad to have had tried this one out. 
and uh, definitely one that I recommend. Y'all let me know what y'all think about these quick reviews and uh, if y'all if y'all would rather y'all would rather me do this than just not review them at all uh these i i was going to review them regardless i just i i'm super backed up and these deserve a review and uh figured that was the one way i could get them done and y'all y'all may actually watch it <laughs> cuz whenever i do one of the ones one of these that has been out for a while they just don't seem to watch it. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day. And I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.